We start the week that was with Kevin Pizzuto's special milestone at Penrith last Thursday night. After training two winners earlier on the night with He's a Cracker and He's a Rummage, Pizzuto was back in the winner's circle with Tour's Delight, which not only gave him a treble on the card, but also provided Kevin with his 500th winner. Here's win number 500 of the training ranks for Kevin Pizzuto, and a treble coming up for Barnes. It's going to bolt in. The Star Trek final was the main feature at Bathurst last Friday and talented youngster Blue Moon Rising made it 10 wins and 11 starts following this gruelling effort. And then Kane Brock's under fire. Triton's got to really get busy here on this leader. It's still Blue Moon Rising. Smith Stars Lexus is coming at it and coming at it quickly, but in front is Blue Moon Rising. Triton does enough, gets it home. Up at Tamworth on Saturday, young horseman Mitch Faulkner had a good day at the office training and driving a double. His first win was with the 11-year-old Stormy Warrior, with the double brought up by Ryabi, which you can see winning here. And Limousine Odo on the outside, Ryabi still in front. Limousine Odo is trying hard to get on level turns, but Ryabi wins the last from Limousine Odo. Young Reigns woman Maddie Young left Tamora last Saturday night with a big smile on her face after driving her first treble. All Maddie's winners were trained by Greg Coney and the horses were Turum Lad, bright and sunny with the hat trick completed by this performance by Benji M Brogdon. Benji M Brogdon in front though and it'll be three for Matty Younger. Benji M Brogdon beats that firepower. There were plenty of highlights at Menangles Fisher's ghost meeting on Sunday including this performance by Supreya which won the country series final for a large group of owners including Canberra Raiders skipper Jared Croker and coach Ricky Stewart. Held together, Driver had a look around his right shoulder. Supriya, she's holding them for the moment. Chum Lee, Verdo out wide. Supriya, she needs the post. Chum Lee comes late, but Supriya. Meanwhile, the JC Catherine Indigenous Drivers Plate was run and driver Royce Gregory Jack proved experience pays off when taking out his third Indigenous Drivers event thanks to this performance by Rave Moonraker. Marion Keisk is about to come off, its pe come off its back and give chase. And down the outside, My Whiskey Lullaby runs on with Rave Moon Raker. At the 100 metre mark, Culinary Delight about to be tackled by Rave Moon Raker. Rave Moon Raker got to the front from Culinary Delight and Rave Moon Raker won it. At Newcastle on Monday, pacer Sir LeFou gave his trainer Michael Bergini his first winner in 10 months when taking out the first race on the card. The horse was driven by Nathan Carroll, who drove another winner later in the program when Stevie Wonder crossed the line in a dead heat. Down the outside, the Oriflam and Holly's Fantasy putting in and win or die is the deepest any number of chances. Sir Lafur has a kick. It's Sir Lafur. Holly's Fantasy's driving on the outside, but in front, Sir Lafur beats Holly's Fantasy, win or die on the Oriflam. And that was the week that was. Thanks for tuning in.